Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Special Agent John Cates, welcome to Quantico. I hope your flight was enjoyable. I have nothing to say without my attorney. You don't have to say anything at this point. Just listen. You're about to hear incontrovertible proof of recall violations. Those are federal crimes. They carry a 20-year sentence. So a huge bombshell was dropped at the end of General Hospital today. We knew today was going to be the day that we found out where Jason has been and what he's been up to this whole time. But I have to say, as much as I've already kind of touched on this theory in the past, I was still really surprised at how they revealed it. During the episode, when Jason was talking to Michael, he kind of explained where he's been this entire time since the tunnel collapse in Greece. He said he got picked up by two men with guns and he was forced into a room with no windows and he was pretty much um, forced to work for them as a mercenary for a kind of a military operation type group. It wasn't until the very end of today's episode when we found out that Jason has actually been working for Jagger this entire time. Yep, Special Agent John Cates was responsible for picking Jason up and he has this leverage over him of apparently RICO charges that Jason could face up to 20 years for. But the, there's something about this that just does not make a lot of sense to me still. And I know it'll be revealed in time, but something's just not sitting right with me right away. And that is earlier in the episode, he told Michael that he was forced to do this and he has to finish the job. And Michael asked him, well, what happens if you don't finish it? Jason, very visibly upset, said, something that he can't live with. And immediately after he says that, it cuts to Danny in the hospital with Sam. And usually they kind of tie these things together without mentioning them by putting scenes back to back. So it plants a bit of a seed without giving you the information. Now, when we find out at the very end that Jason could be facing RICO violations of up to 20 years in prison, connecting the dots, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Jason wouldn't care about going to prison for 20 years. I mean, I say he wouldn't care. Of course he would care, but that would not get him to turn on Sonny. That would not get him to go be a mercenary for hire um, for John Cates and the FBI. There's got to be something more to this than just a 20-year prison sentence. If that's all it was, Jason would have said, okay, you got me. Give me my 20 years, I'll go take it like a man and I'll do what I got to do, but I'm not going to help law enforcement. So there's something more hanging over Jason's head that we just don't know about. Could it involve Danny? Could it involve Sam? Could it involve Jake or Elizabeth or Sonny or Carly or any number of people? I'm not sure right now. Um, like I said, I did kind of touch on this theory that maybe Jason was working for Jagger this entire time. It wasn't the biggest theory that I had, but it was kind of something that I had mentioned in a previous video as a possibility. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Is everything as it seems to be, or is there something more hanging over Jason's head that got him to be this mercenary for hire that got him to go after Sonny and the rest of these mob bosses? Or did Jason just cave to the thought of a 20 year prison sentence? Let me know in the comments below folks. This is really starting to pick up after kind of a really slow start. I know a lot of you've been disappointed, but it's starting to pick up now. We're starting to get more pieces. And I told everybody just wait and see what's going to happen. Just be patient. They're laying the groundwork. It's going to come out. And also be advised, we are still under the Dan O'Connor, Chris Van Etten writing team era. So I keep looking for that at the beginning of every episode. We are still under the old writing team. And I do know, coming from Steve Burton himself, that once the new writing team took over, changes to his storyline were made. So the way it looks like it's going now, is not going to be where we end up at at the finish line. So keep that in the back of your mind as we go forward. With every bombshell, with every revelation, they may stay the course, but it looks like it's probably going to change somewhat. But as of right now, Jason has been working for Jagger and the FBI by force 
What do you think about this new revelation? Leave your comments below.